Hey guys, it's Dana. Welcome back to Decorate with Dana. Welcome to another fall decorating video. Today we are working in my favorite place to decorate and that is the kitchen. I just love the way that this room feels all decorated for fall. This is where we spend the most time. So making it cozy and fall-like yet functional and simple are really my goal here. It's already decorated as you can tell. So you can see like I really did make a lot of use out of my open shelves this time to clear up some space in my pantry and so those are very decorated but everything else on the countertops i try to keep super simple i just like it that way um, i also want to share a little makeover project we did in here if you have seen previous videos you know that i have said i wanted to take our island and make it from a builder's grade island to a custom island and we did in fact do that by adding some molding and i love Love the way it turned out. I think it made such a huge difference taking this whole kitchen from builder grade to um, a little bit more custom like. We also did the same kind of molding at the ends of the cabinets so everything ties in nicely together. So I'm going to share that with you and then I will we'll go through and we'll decorate the kitchen and I will give you a look at everything when we're all done. I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started. So here's a little peek at what the island looked like before. As you can see, it's just very builder's grade. So we had to start off by removing these corner pieces and the piece that was right underneath the countertop. And then we could start prepping the boards and everything to put those on and get those ready for painting. Okay, so here's everything with the corner pieces off. This is the actual front of the island, so that does not come off. That's like one full panel in the front. But we got the corner pieces off and the piece that goes up underneath the countertop. So then we just start cutting the boards and trimming out um, the outside framing part, and then we'll do the up and down uh, boards after we frame it all out. For this project, we used primed MDF boards, which are very reasonably priced. We used three inch boards, four inch wide boards, and one inch boards to make up this project and just did a lot of measuring and cutting and checking to see how everything was fitting. After everything was cut, we used one and a quarter inch brad nails to attach the boards to the cabinets. Okay, so here is where we are at with this. We have gone ahead and so we had to cut out around the outlet. So you'll see what that looks like all finished. We've gone through and filled in everything with wood filler. We still have to caulk some areas, but it already just looks so much better and so much more like finished, you know, more like custom and not so builder grade and then there's this side so once everything dries we will sand everything down fill in anything else that needs to be filled in caulk where there's any like seams that we don't want seen when we're painting and then paint it This project took about two days to complete and that's with the caulking and the wood filler drying. It was an extremely easy project, but here is the after and I think it looks incredible. I think it does look so much more like a custom island for our kitchen. And then again, we did do the two end cabinets also, just so everything ties in nicely together. So now we're gonna start with the open shelving in the kitchen. So I wanted to make more use of the shelves, make them um, a little bit more functional, but still looking nice as well. So I picked up these canisters from Amazon and I'll have them linked down below. And I wanted to, our pantry is not very big. As a matter of fact, it's quite small. So I wanted to make more room, use these really pretty canisters from Amazon. And I got some labels from Etsy. You can also make them on a Cricut. I do have a Cricut. I just did not have time to make them so I ordered them on Etsy for very inexpensive and used to, was able to clear out some of our pantry items that were taking up so much space and I could display these on our open shelves I think that they look really nice it makes them functional and it cleared out so much space in the pantry as well sorry for the blurry video it's really hard when you're taping 
near a window it just goes from blurry to not blurry but for the most part I think you'll get the idea but I kind of play with these shelves a lot and move things around till I finally get them like I like them So underneath the shelves, again, I try to keep everything on the countertops itself pretty simple and functional as well. So of course I have my Smeg coffee grinder that is absolutely one of my favorite pieces of appliances that I have. And then I ended up getting the Smeg toaster and the Smeg tea kettle also. Love this pop of mint green. I generally do not do that. I'm very neutral person, but I'm loving the pop in the kitchen just to kind of break up the white. So I'm just displaying that. I bought that beautiful wreath um, from Marshalls. I love the way that looks. And I just kept everything functional and simple. Just to the right of the stove, I am covering this outlet with a cutting board. And then this white tray is from Hobby Lobby. I love it. And then I have an oil and vinegar set that are from Target, the Hearth and Hand collection. And then my favorite butter dish from Etsy. And then I have this vase that I think was from last fall from Target. And I'm just adding some of these flowers that look like dried out florals that are from Michael's. That's all I'm putting next to the stove. I have this hand towel that is also, I believe, from Target. And then my cast iron pumpkin um, Dutch oven I put on here. And then I have a little marble spoon rest that I got a long time ago from a local boutique. So at first I tried to layer this pumpkin picture on the countertop and I just didn't like the way it looked. I mean, this has to be a functional kitchen and I didn't want to have to move that every time I was using the toaster. So you can see this toaster outlet, but we have to be functional also in the kitchen. And I don't like to leave the toaster plugged in, but I wanna be able to, it's, some, it's an appliance we use almost every day. So I wanna be able to just easily plug it in without having to move something so this is over on the other side of the kitchen this pear print is from Target last year and this little lamp I love it's kind of like an amber glass at the bottom this is from Hobby Lobby so I'm just making a little display over here and then I decide to add it in a tray it just kind of grounded the display a little bit better and the gold salt and pepper shakers are from Etsy I love those and then I'm just going to add a little floral arrangement next to it and that will complete this little vignette.
Coming over to another section in the kitchen, I have a couple of small open shelves and then a small display cabinet underneath that. I'm On the top shelf, I added this pumpkin picture. I got this from a craft show last year. I love it. It's one of my favorite pieces of art for the fall. And then I just try a couple different things here. Like I didn't like the color of these florals with this arrangement. So I end up taking that down and switching it out for this small little arrangement that came from Target. And then those two vases are from Hobby Lobby. The next shelf down, I have a couple of ceramic pumpkins that I believe I got from Target last year. And then my um, cookbook I'm layering on here and then putting this distressed planter that I think is these are the ones from Walmart and then just adding some florals in there. To the top of this display cabinet I decided to remove this little lamp it wasn't one that we turned on very often so I took that out for now added this really pretty vase that is from Pottery Barn and then just adding these are some of my favorite florals from Hobby Lobby I just love the looks of them and how wispy they are and I like that you can kind of bend the branches the way that you want them to and they just kind of flow over the sides of the vase that's all I'm adding to to the top of the display cabinet and then inside the cabinet itself I'm just keeping it simple with some amber glass some pumpkins and then that pear or gourd actually that dried out gourd that I got from an antique shop a couple weeks ago I also do realize that there are labels at the bottom of those amber glasses on the bottom. I do end up taking those off. It is after the video because they actually had to be soaked off. They would not come off easily, but I did in fact remove those. For the table, I just have this black pedestal bowl that is from West Elm. It is ceramic. For now, I just put in there these gold pears. I only have three of them, so I either need to get more or I will really probably end up adding the apples because we, we go apple picking a few times a year, so I'll probably end up adding those in, but we will see. For now, I just put those three gold pears. And then on the island, this vase came from Hobby Lobby, and at first I tried these florals in it, and I do think it looks really pretty, but it just kind of takes up too much space on the island. I don't like them draping down on the island where we're eating so I do end up changing those out but then I add this really pretty candle holder and this candle that is from Amazon and then this cute little pumpkin and that's it for the display on the island again it's we use this every day and almost every meal we eat here at the island when we're not all eating together so I'd switch out those florals for these little Japanese maple ones I like that they're up off the island and I think it just makes a really pretty simple display for the island for fall
Okay, you guys, that is it for this kitchen decorating for fall 2023. I love how simple and yet functional that it came out. The pops of the beautiful fall colors, the pops of the mint green from the Smeg appliances is also a favorite of mine. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and that it gave you just a little bit of decorating inspiration in the kitchen. I know I keep my counters extra simple, but you know, you can obviously decorate however you like and what makes you happy. It's just that's what makes me the happiest. And I also hope you guys enjoyed the little island makeover. I think it made such a huge difference in this kitchen and also the way that we decorated the shelves, just kind of making them a lot more functional. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Have a great day.